Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel I Love Pharmacology and in this session let's learn about direct oral anticoagulants. Myself Dr. Padmanabha TS. So we have two groups of direct oral anticoagulants. They are thrombin 2A inhibitor or uh, it is called as thrombin inhibitor or factor 2A inhibitor and one more group is factor 10A inhibitor. So under thrombin inhibitor we have got dabigatron and under 10A inhibitor we have a rivaroxaban, apixaban and idoxaban. How to remember these drugs? So dabigatron has got BI. So even the thrombin has got BI. So dabigatron belongs to thrombin inhibitor. So those drugs which have got XA in their word, it belongs to factor 10A inhibitor. So see rivaroxaban, apixaban and idoxaban has got XA as a common factor. So they belong to factor 10A inhibitor. So when compared with the warfarin, so warfarin though it belongs to oral anticoagulant which are the oral vitamin K antagonists, they have got narrow therapeutic index which requires a constant regular monitoring of the INR which is cumbersome and which is difficulty also. And it has got slow onset of action and they are involved in multiple drug interactions. Whereas the direct oral anticoagulants overcomes these difficulties by having rapid onset of action and there is no need for monitoring and they are involved in very few drug interactions.